everyone, it's Ashley. I'm so glad that you could stop by again today. I'm joining Alta New today on their newest Build a Flower release, and this is Fuchsia. I'm really excited about this one in particular because it's got a really fun outline stamp, so you can do some coloring as well as layered stamping, so we're going to go into that a bit today. I'm going to go ahead and open up this trifold pamphlet as I always do in my Alta New videos because there's so much inspiration and the layering guide on the back is extremely helpful as well. Now, like I said, there is this outline stamp, which you don't always get with the build of flowers. And so I thought we would take this opportunity to do some coloring and then I will go into the layered stamping in just a minute. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink because this is my favorite ink to use for Copic coloring. Now I'm going to actually be doing the detail coloring with some Prismacolor colored pencils, but I will be putting a base color down with Copic markers. All of the colors are in the description if you are interested, as well as links to all of the products seen today. So I'm going to go ahead and close up here for you just so that you can get a feel for how I'm putting down this base color. I'm not doing too much as far as uh, detail wise. I'm just giving it a little bit of shadows, but I start off with my lightest color because I don't want to put too much saturation down. And then I'm going to, going to go into the actual bud of the flower and I'm using some purple colors for this. Again, I'm using three colors and not going too far into detail. I just want this base color to be down so that when I do my Prismacolor colored pencil coloring, uh, that was a lot to say, um, I'm going to not show too much white tooth of the paper through my coloring. It's going to have that nice base of color. As you can see, I use some very sharp pencils and I'm just going very lightly over just to make sure it gives it a little bit of texture and I add a little bit more dimension and depth and interest into the coloring. I really enjoy bringing colored pencils into my Copic coloring lately because I really just think it gives it that little bit of oomph and what it needs. Uh, it's a little easier to do some really dark uh, shadows and some depth with colored pencils than it is to bring in like darker Copic markers that might not match exactly. I've been really loving bringing in my colored pencils for that. So here is what I came up with for the design of the card. I really love the way that the fuchsia plant hangs down and I thought that, that would be really cool and I took some inspiration from the inside of the pamphlet uh, as to having all of these flowers sort of hanging down and presenting the sentiment I really love this scripted thank you stamp. And then I added the for always being there right underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do the layered stamping now, which I know uh, everybody always likes to see for the build of flowers. Now, this is brand new to me. I'm sure some of you may have it, and I'm sure most of you have seen it, but this is the Organize More Mini Ink Cube Storage Tray. I love this because it fits right into my drawer, and it also fits 60 mini ink cubes. I've also gone ahead and saved all of the inserts that I get from the mini ink cube packages because that way if my inks get a little bit out of order, I know which order they go into. I'm going to go inside the pamphlet for some color inspiration. And again, all of the colors that I've used are listed in the description today. The first thing that I'm going to do is stamp this outline image with the crisp black ink in Obsidian from uh, Altenew. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and go in succession from lightest to darkest for all of my layers. I'm stamping only the three flowers today because I think that that's the most detail and what we'll probably use most in this, uh, this stamp set. But there are two uh, leaves that are also, that also have two layers with an outline layer and then of course also the branch. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of music on just so you can see how all of these layers come to life and I'll be back in just a minute.
as I am just finishing up now, you can see that I went for a bit of a more simple approach to this design. I've left a little bit more space and I've used just a solid white background rather than ink blending over it just to give it a really nice pop of color with the flowers. I hope that you've enjoyed learning a few different ways that I like to use the Build a Flower Fuchsia set. As always, links to all of the products are in the description, as well as the link to the Build a Flower Fuchsia blog hop that is going on. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.